Good morning, guys. I guess you have been wondering how much range you can get out of the Kingston KS18L. I've decided to find out by taking uh, my unicycle to work today, that is around 30 kilometers from here. This would be a two stage test where I ride 30 kilometers here in the morning and then additionally 30 kilometers uh, on the way home after work. And then we will see how much battery is left there. This can give you a good idea what range to expect uh, when it's not a tiny Asian that rides the wheel, but a grown up like me that is uh, probably around 200 pounds uh, fully equipped. Let's buckle up. I've decided to bring along my Garmin watch so we can keep track of uh, the actual time and distance traveled. The wheel is ready to go and fully charged. To increase the stress on the battery, I switched the riding mode to experience mode. for a break. Time to do a short pit stop here at this uh, beautiful place. Uh, it's a nice morning. The temperature uh, I think is around 15, uh, between 15 and uh, 20 Celsius. Let's check uh, the distance. So far uh, we are I, th I think approximately halfway. It's 16.5 uh, kilometers. And uh, I only used one dot on the wheel. So that's pretty nice. How has the ride been so far? It has been uh, okay. I still have the same uh, foot fatigue uh, that uh, I experienced with the KS16B. Uh, I guess that would not be different uh, because the pedals are more or less the same. I don't see anything change there. But what I can say is that this wheel is uh, smooth. It rides really, really nice. It's sometimes uh, also a little bit dangerous because I checked my speed at some point and uh, I was way beyond uh, 35 kilometers an hour. And when you're riding in uh, like uh, these roads with cars next to you, you get easily speed blind, get uh, tricked into riding much faster than uh, the, you probably should. One thing that bothers me a little bit, I hope the QC control of this lift switch is okay. If that fails uh, when you ride uh, 35 to 40 kilometers an hour, this will be a disaster. If you're new around here and uh, want to know more about tech, drones and media production in general, consider subscribing to my tips testing tutorials. You might notice that uh, before we uh, head out, I switched uh, into uh, the expert experience riding mode. And I did that to put maximum stress on uh, the battery. Why does that consume more battery? It's because the wheel needs to work a lot harder to maintain uh, the balance uh, when you want it really stiff. So that's another tip. If you want to extend your range, you can basically just uh, switch to uh, one of the more soft riding modes. Enough talking, break is over. Let's do the remaining part of the trip. almost uh, at work now and I uh, hope the wind noise is not too much because I just want to finish this video before I arrive. Let's see how much uh, battery we use for this uh, trip. It turned out it was not uh, 30 kilometers but more around uh, 28. I'll make sure to add some extra mileage on the way home. All right, I'm ready to leave work and go uh, back home these 30 kilometers. I'll probably take a pit stop uh, midway to see what the battery status is. There's only six dots left. Let's buckle up and hit the road. Time for 
a little break. All right, status after 16 kilometers. I'm down to four dots on uh, the wheel. It just switched from uh, five to four. So now I have a really, really tough decision to make if I'm gonna make it home or not. I have uh, about 12 kilometers uh, to um, complete before I'm safe back home. So this is a hard choice where I need to decide if I want to go back and uh, do a little recharging on uh, the local McDonald's or if I want to go for it and uh, go back home. I talked to one of the other riders and he told me that uh, when you are down to four dots, you will get a tilt back at 30 kilometers an hour. And uh, that will be even further reduced uh, when you're down to two, three dots, it will go down to 20 kilometers an hour. And with two dots, it goes down to 50 kilometers an hour. The remaining part of the trip will uh, likely be a bit slow. I've been uh, debating back and forward if I should go for it or not. And uh, I think I will give it a go. It would be kind of fun if I could ride to work and back again on one single charge. While I'm sitting here enjoying my coffee, I just want to show you something. It's not a Ben 10 watch, but it's actually a mirror. So that I can flip up like that. And uh, the smart part about that, I can see who's uh, coming behind me. So that's kind of a nice little gimmick. It's like a $6 thingy from uh, AliExpress. So that's a... Uh, cheap and a pretty nice investment. I'm ready for the final stretch now. Your device is low battery. Please charge it. getting pretty critical now. Now I'm down to three dots and it's starting to say that uh, it's low on battery and I need to recharge. At least I reached my hometown so I, it's not that far. Let's see if I can make the final stretch without calling a lifeline from my wife. Now I'm totally screwed. I'm down to two dots and it's beeping all the time. Pretty annoying to drive through the city uh, with that sound. But uh, I still miss around two kilometers before I'm home. So uh, let's see if I can make the final stretch even though it's beeping. Attach all of one kilometer, the wheel said stop. And when it says stop, it really says stop. It tilts back to around 45 degrees and making it completely unrideable. So I guess that's a good safety feature, but it was a little bit unpleasant to experience that the wheel was tilting back so hard. Now there's no other way around it than wheeling the wheel home with the handle. Finally home after pushing the wheel for 1.5 kilometers. Let me just go in and get something to drink, a little bit to eat, and then I will look at the data and give you a short update on how far we got on this trip. If you're new around here and want to learn about tech, drones and media, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips testing tutorials. Two dots left and the wheel is completely unusable for other than manual wheeling with the handle up. It was really nice to get something to eat and a little bit to drink after this trip. And looking at the final result, it seems uh, that the, the trip out today was uh, 26.1 km. The return trip was uh, 24.6. Adding these two together gives around 50 km. I did have a little bit of an issue. I forgot to turn on the watch for approximately 2 km. So I would say the measured distance of today's trip is around 50 to 52 km. So the whole conclusion of today's test is that uh, you could say you would get around uh, 45 to 55 kilometers on a full charge. This is uh, under the conditions where you are a grown-up person like me, 200 pound, uh, fully equipped, and uh, with a weather where you have uh, windy conditions and uh, around 20 degrees Celsius. So this is uh, kind of nice. It's at least uh, way more than what I got out of my M Super with the 840 watt uh, battery. So I'm pretty satisfied as, as it is right now because uh, one of the goals is that uh, the Danish group uh, will ride from Copenhagen to Helsingør 
later this uh, summer. And uh, this is a distance of around 40 to 45 kilometers, so there should be plenty of battery to do that project. That's the range you can expect from the KS18L under US and European conditions. Hope you found this video useful. If so, then make sure to hit the like button below because this helps me understand if you want more of this kind of content. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Well